Yes. I've seen what Scott has done since he had an idea and fell in love with the idea. And I heard about it early. Uh, he started outlining what he imagined, which was you, and something like this. And uh, I kept saying, you know, it's fine, it'll need to be 10,000, of course, but we'll get he's made extraordinary progress uh, in moving toward a larger scale version of what the founder of the Peace Corps had very much in mind as the next stage that should have been the next stage of the Peace Corps was to make it reciprocal. The real question for everyone always uh, is, are you ready? This experience, uh, whatever it turns out to be, will uh, make you ready to be ready uh, for, for things you believe and become possible. Uh, but he's persistent oh, yeah. and he's <laughs> determined yeah. And he keeps at it, and he doesn't let anybody stop him. Uh, it, he's an extraordinary example of a, another type. From, from. For us, the, the value of global service leadership is that uh, Gandhi's value of constructive service. And we try to, through all of our emergent and global leadership labs and places where our fellows are serving, is create this culture of global service leadership. And for you, when I talk about becoming a world leader and the vision that we have for, for you, but hopefully more importantly that you have for yourselves, is we want you to be the Harris Walkers of your countries. And one of the things that he taught me, that Harris has taught me mostly through his example, is that social change is not a sprint, but in true ways it's, it's a marathon. And while we need to take advantage of the time that we have and be ready for its change, be ready for our moment to make a big difference, we also need to be ready to fight for decades for those causes and those issues that we believe in. And I also agree, no matter how much I plan, no matter how much I work hard, that you can't really necessarily write that exact path. And then in many ways, we just need to be open for the opportunities that present ourselves to them. And perhaps the most important thing is to surround ourselves by people who do believe in us, who do sustain us, who do ins inspire us. Uh, so thank you, Harris, for being that for me and for our fellows.